Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Inspirations with Rashonda, which is a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all things inspiration for your mind, body, and soul. So listen, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm going to make this really quick because I don't want to make you happy twice, happy to see me, and equally happy to see me go, okay? (laughs) So let's get into it. So you see my shirt. It says access denied Ephesians 4 and 27 and I'm gonna get to what that verse says in a minute but I want to say this we got to nip things in the bud we got to nip it in the bud listen people who are overconfident or too arrogant are likely to fail I'll say that again people who are overconfident or too arrogant are likely to fail it's time to nip it in the bud what am I talking about so last week um I got some extra duties put on me on my job right and I've been working my job for next year will probably be about 10 years and so I've learned a lot along the way and in the process with going from department to different departments to different processes and things of this nature well a lot of things is changing while things are changing around me let me just say it this way and without saying too much that means that some things was put on me some extra heavy things was put on me to do well I don't mind doing it and of course I've always been told you don't argue with the person that's able to hire you and fire you okay so if you don't get nothing else from this video remember that don't argue with the person that's able to hire you and fire you let's move on so of course I said yes I'm going to do the job of course this is I'm good I'm I got this you know but in my mind I was like do I really got this <laughs> I don't really want to do this okay let's be let's be honest I don't but at the same time I'm like you know there are so many changes going on I don't know if there's going to be a change to my job or, or, or whatever so I did the work but in the process of doing the work and getting things situated because I'm a very organized person where I like to work smart and I don't like to work hard so if I can figure out a smart way to around things or how to work things out that's what this girl gonna do okay so with that being said I thought about a lot of smart things to do to make the job easier not just for myself but the people that I'm now have to work with i'm getting all these compliments oh girl you're doing a good job oh girl you are doing a magnificent job oh girl you are doing a wonderful job after thinking okay yeah you know well to god be the glory but at the same time there was something going on in my heart because it's not only this job but it's other jobs that i've been tasked to do as well as far as my church um other projects and things that I'm working on you know people saying all these things girl you're doing a good job you're doing this you're doing that girl you got yourself together girl you do things with excellency da 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 and all at the same time while people are saying those things that was something I felt in my heart and so the other day when I was coming home I talked to the Lord and I became really transparent with him and I was like God I feel like I'm getting the big head. I'm just going to say this. I feel like Satan did when he was in heaven, okay, before he got kicked out. And you know how everybody was praising. He was so beautiful and all this and all that until he allowed that to go to his head. It went to his heart, went to his head. And then next thing you know, you know, he got kicked out. Because he thought he was better than everybody else. And then tried to exalt himself above God. Ezekiel 28, 17 says this. Your beauty went to your head. You corrupted wisdom by using it to get worldly fame. His beauty, the things that people were saying or complimenting him on. And maybe he was looking in the mirror and he was thinking to himself, you know you fine. You know, and whatever, that was all going to his head. And it's no telling whatever what the other angels were saying to him and all this other type of stuff. He just thought he was the bum.com, okay? But the thing is, is that that went to his head. And because it went to his head, next thing you know, it got in his heart. He kicked out. You know, he left one of the greatest places that we're all trying to get to. You was there. And then he allowed himself to get kicked out. So the thing is, I was thinking to myself and I told the Lord, I was like, God, I don't want this stuff to go to my head. 
I see what's forming in my heart, but I can't allow that to, to get here. And, you know, next thing you know, I'm thinking, I'm walking around like, hey, I'm the new thing at the job. And then the next thing you know, I ain't got no job. <laughs> so I began to tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me. You know, Proverbs 16, 18 says, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Do you know that before pride um, um, makes it like really blows up in our face, there are some little red flags that that's happening along the way before pride really takes over and what I noticed is that I had some little red flags that was beginning to form before pride could even do its thing so I was like okay I'm noticing this and God I'm nipping this in the bud right now but you know what I love what the message um, version of um, Proverbs 16 18 says and it says first pride then the crash Okay, first pride, then the crash. The bigger the ego, the harder the fall. Okay, so I'm like, oh my goodness. So I began to confess to God and I began to lay it all out to him. And I'm like, God, I don't want this. I don't want this pride. I don't want this feeling of like, you know, I got, I'm good. Because, you know, sometimes we could think we're good and we could do the work and God could bless us to do the work. And what I don't want. And one of my greatest fears is getting before God and then him saying, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I know you not. That's like my biggest fear. And so every little thing that comes to my heart and mind that or I the enemy like is trying to get me, you know, to get the thinking that, oh, girl, you all dead. Oh, girl, see what they said about you. See what they uh Uh-uh. I hear what they say. To God be the glory. But I'm nipping this in the bud. You ain't going to mess up my heart. And that's where Ephesians 4 and 27 comes in at. Don't give the devil a foothold or an opportunity to ruin your success. Don't give the devil a foothold or an opportunity to ruin to ruin your process or your success. Access denied, devil. You can't come here. And so I gave him an access denied last week. And I'm like, uh-uh, you can't do this. We not doing this. I'm not going there. I'm not, <laughs> I'm putting this before the Lord. Because it's one of the enemy's greatest tricks is to get you to start feeling some things and then you just hold it. You just sitting on it. But what it's doing is little red flags, it's little bums that's going to lead to a big bomb that's going to go off. And we all know how Russian roulette is, okay? It's, hey, it's okay until that gun go off and then it's all over. So don't allow the enemy to do that in your life. Do you have pride? Have you been dealing, have some things been going on in your life where you've been dealing with pride? Don't give the enemy a foothold, okay? People who are overconfident or too arrogant are likely to fail. It's time to nip it in the bud. And I challenge you to nip it in the bud. Whatever's going on in your heart right now, whatever's going on in your mind right now, you know, that's, you know, people giving you praise and it could be a lot of other things, you know, give it over to God before it gets out of control. Trust me, you do not want it to get to that point. And so I just wanted to come on. This was really off scripted and just talk about this because maybe somebody else is going through this too. Access denied devil. That's what you need to tell the enemy. Access denied. And if you like this shirt or you want a shirt like this, listen, you can visit Jazzy Faith Designs. I have her information down in the description box. She's also on Facebook and Instagram as Jazzy Faith Designs. So check her out. She'll give you a one of a kind shirt. All right. <laughs> Whether you want this one or you want another one, she can get it done for you. So listen, I hope that you got something out of this message. I hope you have the most amazing day and tell the devil access denied. Don't give him the opportunity or the foothold in your life or to your the doors of your heart, okay? Keep them closed. Submit everything unto God. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.